The year is 420 AFV, after the fall of Viriots, and the land of Triple Jumpia has been enjoying a lengthy period of peace. Since King Billy opened up the kingdom's borders five years ago, travellers from far and wide have flocked to Triple Jumpia in search of knowledge, adventure, and really awful video games. At the last census, it was found more than 300,000 people were now settled in the kingdom. Alas, all is not well. The king's staff found his bedchambers empty a ten day ago, and thus far there has been neither sight nor sound of the beloved monarch. The king's guard has been searching the realm tirelessly, but without luck, and troubling rumours have begun spreading. Rumours? that point the finger of blame in the face of the fearsome name Redactyl, a mighty five-headed dragon that rules over the distant land of, well, I mean, no one actually knows the name of the place because it's been redacted from history, but anyway, rules over a distant land with an iron claw. With time running out to save the king, Princess Miley has tried calling upon Triple Jumpia's bravest adventurers, but... Unsurprisingly, none are willing to face the name Redactyl. Out of options, Princess Miley is forced to resort to the one thing she swore she'd never do. Hire the Walrus Clan. Good afternoon everyone i hope everyone's having a great day welcome to your stream i know it's thursday it's all very confusing don't have to tell me twice i can't wait till i get to friday and then i'm gonna remember it's the last day of the week and i'm gonna be very confused but hello everybody hope everyone's having a yeah. good day hi ashton how are you I'm how good, was your you. weekend it's a special thursday edition of live laugh love wednesday with ashton hope you are having an amazing day Thank you, Stephen, for the blips. I know I didn't play ready to stream because the D&D &D thing's like two minutes long and I thought, oh, if it was me, I'd be bored if I were to watch another video. So I thought, I'll just jump straight in. Even, I was I was so ready to stream, I didn't even play the ready to stream song. It's the whole thing. Any, anyway, hello everyone, hope everyone's doing well. I am a bit under the weather, I think. Um, but a bit unwell this week and I have a funny headache that's sitting right behind my eyes but it's all right because um, we're playing some chill games today we're gonna finish off open roads which we played last week um, and we need to go find our grandma's boyfriend in Canada and then after that we might jump in if we have time to um, Botany Manor which came out Tuesday? Yesterday? This week, uh, which is a puzzle game and again, another chill game. That I feel like our vibe is, um, our vibe of my streams is really just like chill, chill games that we can all just hang out and play because I am always sleepy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I, yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're going to get a lot of uh, yes, I think, in today's stream. Um, problem is with the Ready to Stream song is that sometimes Ashton then starts stream and the sound is off or the game isn't working. So Ashton isn't ready to stream at all. The song is a liar. It's true. I am actually ready to stream today. Like, everything's working. Maybe the song is like a bad omen. Maybe. Don't know. Um, I think the issue is that when I play that song, I feel like I can relax because I've got an extra minute or so. Um, but this time I was on edge because I had to quickly download the, the new D&D &D video. So I was like, oh gosh, got to sort mm -hmm. that out. But it's fine. Um, Stephen, thank you for subscribing for 55 months in a row. 58 in total. 58 months with Triple Jump and the Walrus Clan. 58 months filled with love and laughter and we all live. Love that. I, my brain did not take that one in. Here's to the continued fun and entertainment and many good times. And then a little Pikmin me. <laughs> so silly and then we carrot exo thank you for resubscribing with prime for four months it's lovely to have you here i noticed you said you were sick i'm sorry that you're not feeling very well just two sickos in one stream 
I'm drinking this tea, right? I've recently got into fruit tea. Well, one specific fruit tea that I got from Aldi that's cherry flavour. And um, I thought I'd get some more to try other ones. Um, and I got like a strawberry tea. I've also picked the ginormousest mug. Not a word. Biggest mug I could find. Uh, it's got cats on it. It says cat person, which is actually not true. I am a dog person, but I do have cats. Um, and mm -hmm. I've got this new one and it's meant to be good for your hair and skin, which is good because I've got a big flipping spot on my chin right now. Um, but also it's meant to be strawberry and cucumber flavored and it's kind of rank. <laughs> it just tastes like just dirty water. This one's a bit rank. The cherry one's nice. I'm going to drink it. I don't know if I left, if I didn't leave it in long enough. I don't know. I'm going to drink it because for healthy skin and hair. Don't know how tea's going to make that I have healthy skin and hair, but. Ugh. Oh, so weird. What do you see beyond the darkness? Why does it taste like that? Anyway, um, thank you. I'm glad my hair and skin is looking healthier. Yeah, I don't. I just kind of feel like I need to drink hot drinks more. Everyone always like raves about hot drinks. I don't drink any hot drinks, and I thought I'll get a tea. This one's not nice. It doesn't even taste a little bit like strawberries. I kind of the issue is I think I always want them to taste like squash. Like I'm I'm a big squash gal. I drink squash for those of you in. I don't. What do Americans have instead of squash? In Scotland they call it diluting juice, which is just in, absolutely insane. Um, my friend from Sheffield called it dilute, which is not true. Um, but yeah, it's just squash. But I love squash. Drink it all the time, and I think I just want hot tea to taste like squash i could drink hot squash when i was a kid and i used to go to like um guide camp when everyone else would have like hot chocolate i'd have a hot ribena um and that was lovely but i feel like squash i feel like tea in my head is like healthy and drinking hot squash is not i guess squash is like a fruit drink not yeah it's like called so you put a bit of squash in and then you fill up with water You've been on TikTok and all those people are doing like water of the day and they do like put a bunch of like sugary stuff in it. But that's basically what squash is, only ours is like mostly actual fruit, whereas the ones that they put in is just like birthday cake flavoured, which is an absolutely insane thing to want your water to taste like. Ugh, right, let's play the game, shall we? <laughs> What is that flavour? Where is the strawberry? So if you missed it last week, we found out our grandma was going to leave our grandpa and run away to Canada with her boyfriend. So we're, we've just convinced mum to go on a road trip to Canada to find out what's going on. Is there any sound? Did I turn the sound off? Of course I did. Right. Oh, it's playing out of the wrong speaker. It's going to play out of, of the actual speaker instead of... I did think, you know, I was sat here and I was like, I can hear a funny noise. It's my flipping speaker. Sorry, everyone, that was loud. Right. Uh, I can't remember if we played it with the mouse and keyboard last week or not, but we're going to play it with the mouse and keyboard today. I don't think we did. I don't remember any of these controls. Did we convince Gram uh, Mum to... What the heck? Okay. Is this Pierce Lautrec guy Mum's real dad? Scandal! That is such a me way of saying things. We found an address for some place in Canada. We've got to check it out. Time to hit the road. Okay. There we are. That's better. Get your flipping... Get your controllers out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Grandpa was dead. You're right, but but mum, uh, but Grandma was already grandma? No, kissing this man before did. Granddad died. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> But if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard growing them. You can't just take them. Aw, well now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. One word for it. So am I. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive well now. her dad died oh life happened i guess um last week i caught the vod of you playing this or making a jigsaw probably the first time since i was eight and i can see where folks get into them i um tried to do a jigsaw during covid when i was stuck at home with my parents after i got covid and I literally could not think of anything worse. I was doing like a hundred piece puzzle and I got bored so quickly. All right. <laughs> so quickly. Time to order that room service. Uh, this is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right, but the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. Love that for you, Mum. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Get yourself a blue All lagoon or All right. strawberry daiquiri. That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? Oh, um, burger? Um, burger it is. Burger? Do your um, homework. burger? Okay, Mum. I knew I shouldn't have bought my backpack on this trip. Now mum expects to do my homework. Well, I guess it's not much else to do. Cooped up in this motel room. Oh, how lovely. Dirt flavored water. No, thanks. We're gonna have decaffeinated dirt filled water. Is there a bibble? There's always a bibble. A visitor's guide. Oh. Um. Hmm. What? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Ashton. Hello. Looking forward to the DND stream for 300k. On a scale of a couple to all of them, how many dragons are you planning to seduce? Much to the annoyance of the boys. I am going to seduce all of the dragons if there's a dragon i'm gonna kiss it uh <laughs> no i i don't know if there will be a dragon i don't know anything about it yet i'm uh i'm at the whim of our wonderful writer cat uh do whatever she wants to do fluoxetine helen devine take one by mouth daily is that our grandma why have we got grandma's pills in here interesting um, thank you for the blips, OD Lazarus. I am also excited for the D and D stream. I was trying to get um, something for it today, but I, I didn't, I didn't know what to get. You know, Stephen, thank you for gifted subs. Sorry, I miss those. Um, they went to Water Tosser and the Rain Five One Three Six. Thank you so much. Thoroxid's Prozac, by the way. No further forward. What's Prozac? That's true. Ben might murder it on site. Oh, yeah. Definitely stealing these. Oh. Some little soaps and stuff. Oh. What's your near then? No, I can't. Some mouthwash. Right. Where's the Bible? There's always a Bible. There it is. One bibble. The holly bibble. Oh, I put the bibble down. Why 
is there always a Bible? Is it left by people who are who've been in the room before, just trying to like convert, or is it is it a matter of uh oh okay, just like not wanting to uh or is it the the hotel's put there? Sorry, get my words out. Hey Tessa, I hope you had a good day. Busy with some work late tonight, but we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thinking of you always, Dad. Let's text Francine. Was about the abandoned summer home. How haunted was it? Very. Very. Oh, I can think I can pick things. OMG, how many ghosts did you see? Nothing but ghosts. The place was packed full of them. Damn, I want to see a ghost. Speaking of spooky, how did your mum react to you telling her about Nevada? Shut up, lol. I didn't tell her. Why are you so obsessed with that? You need to tell her. What if she doesn't let you go? I'm gonna. and She will let me go. Just do it now. Okay, I will when it's the right time. When? I don't know. So, did you find what you were looking for? Um, yes, I know. We're heading up to Canada tomorrow. What? Ah, it's the Gideon Bibble. Interesting. We're gonna see if we can miss. Or we can find out more about him. I'm gonna cough. <coughs> he might be part Canadian. One quart maple syrup. Oh, I forgot it was rank. It's pretty cool. It's old and vintage and my mum's getting me a burger from the bar. That's awesome. Well, have you looked around the motel room? Is there anything weird in there? Probably. If I find anything weird, I'll text you about it. Well, I'm not texting Dad. He told us he was busy. Can I write boobies on the calculator? Hey. I keep drinking this stinky time. tea because I oh, feel no, like I should drink along. it. You know, Fine. it's in front How of me now. Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. Okay. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. Canada. <laughs> oh, we're not in Canada. Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. I have a, a squash, we but I'm... Visit to the old summer house. You I think it'll make it, this taste worse. I'm just committing to drinking this first. Mobile fat. home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. This bag is my rival, and I will defeat it. Where is it? Eat burger? Munch. Munch. I want a burger. I have vanquished the mighty burger. I just... Do you think could dad and I've turned the TV on? Yeah, she's here. Hold on. She wants to talk to you. Oh, I'm sorry. going out for a smoke back in a few. Okay, bye mum. Hello, Teresa. Hello, um, Auntie August. Hi, Aunt August. That's what I said. This is all it's pretty crazy, huh? I should not have turned yeah, the TV on. That's one word I've made for an it. error. I've made an error. Now, I think it's pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's a bigger deal for you and mom. I just think, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's like seeing a whole new side of grandma now that she's gone. Yeah, I was still pretty young when our dad died, so I think it's a lot harder on your mom than on me. Why do you miss burgers, really Chip? Him. I'm sorry. Where have they gone? It's all right. I've spent enough on therapy. I've almost, almost finished this tea now, guys. I'm gonna have Did the healthiest goddamn hair in the business. Out there. Ow! Ow! Been since we were kids. Ow! We found some of your old art. Stuff you made as a kid. Oh, that's so fun. I was a creative kid. It's alright. Kind of I've still now? got two teeth. Well, we're all good. <laughs> no, not really. Not as much as I'd like to. <laughs> Although I have to do a lot of 
lot of creative stuff at work. But it would be nice to get back into writing. And what about drawing? <laughs> I was a dedicated artist, but never a very good They've gone one. away. I had a bit of a scale with my heart a month or so back, and I'm to a and &E and all that jazz, so I'm eating what these that aren't tasty burgers house? now. Ah. Oh. Well, well, I'm sorry I... to hear that, but... It, I'm also sorry you can't uh, have burgers, but I'm glad that you're doing okay. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of There's maybe like two gulps there. left. I'll that finish the tea and then we could all move on with our life. Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? What? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? Did it? No. What about mom? Can Gross. she stay with you? Of course, both of you, but she doesn't want to. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. Why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta go. <gasps> Love you, Teresa. Auntie August wants Love us to too, live August. with her, and Mama said no, but we don't even have anywhere to live. Mama! Mama, no. Right, let me turn this flipping TV off. Can we go find our mom? Mm. Find mom and go to bed. Blah, 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 blah. Be aware. Da, da, da. Be sure. Da, da. Got it. We've got to find mother. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line. And of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before. And he's just staring at her. Uh -huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? I'm gonna Tess. sneeze. I'm what? gonna sneeze. Are you even listening to what I'm saying? He's coming. Yeah, Pirates <laughs> of the Caribbean, I'm listening. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's Hold fine. on. The stinky wrestling boys claim you are the second sweariest person in the office. Is this accurate? Who'd they say was the sweariest? I don't know if I'm the second swear. I mean, maybe. Sam. Maybe. I mean, Sam. I, I don't. See, I don't work with him in the office, but I guess he is pretty sweary when we hang out. But am I the second sweariest? I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm the second sweariest. I just, uh... Come on, I'm being outed like this. Did I leave it in my backpack? Oh no, we left our cellular telephone device in the motel. Oh no. What? Our cellular phone. phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. I need my phone. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your- You don't understand! Oops, I just skipped it. Sorry. Francine is going to be worried about me. We text or call or see each other every day. She's going to wonder what happened to me. And do you kiss? Didn't you text her before we left this morning? And do you kiss? Yeah, but... And your cell phone wouldn't work in Canada anyway. I'm sure Francine will be fine till we can pick up your phone from the motel on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We yes, can... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get you know, your- No, I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. You, you. you were lying to me. And I was so distracted. Oof. And now, and now you won't even go back and- Hold on, hold on. I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? Um. Uh. Yeah, I don't- I don't know if I am the swear. I mean, I can't believe I am the se se second or first sweariest. But I feel like when I'm in the office, well, maybe not when I'm off, when I'm on content or when I'm like 
working I guess I do turn it off because if I don't turn it off when I'm rest, like doing any content because even on the sleepover streams I don't think I'm that sweary because I think if I start doing swears on some content I'll it'll trickle down you know um I laughed because I listened to the TJ podcast and the Carl's Holic podcast on my, la- my trip last weekend and got both Ash and talking about how much Jack loved the stop moshing video and Jack gushing over the stop moshing video. I don't know why he likes it so much. I need to I need to find it because yeah. You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Someone will yell if I, I do. It's true. Lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us. I didn't I didn't lie. You did I, lie, Mum. She Mom, doesn't want to help. Lie. Helping would be buying the house, and when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Oh. Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. Also, I feel like Kieran swears a lot, but but Kieran is Irish, so I guess maybe he gets a pass. <laughs> um, why don't you like, do you like August? August? Excuse me, where did you get that idea? Well, you always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're jealous of her. Oh, I am not oh. jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself. Especially if you're so Kieran, far away, a potential your own family yes. is an afterthought. Who was I this? Do all the work Who specifically her. was this? August just stayed in a- Chicago. Accusing me. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not going to be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow. A general discussion on the podcast. Like. Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running I feel privileged that people talk. You know what's really funny? I love people talking about me. <laughs> I got people talking about me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. People talking about me when I wasn't even in the room. That is crazy. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. People talking about me. <laughs> Exhausted. No wonder dad left. Oh. Don't bring your dad into this. Jesus, Why Tess. Not? Why can't we talk about dad? Actually talk about Kids dad. Kids are so for mean. Once. The divorce. The... I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? Oof. When I see dad Oof. when I go next month. Oof. You're not going to Nevada next month. She yes, is. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business. I'm going From your and... business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. You... Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, oh, sure, honey, feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. Oof. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean Let's mom. Let's go, mom. And do all the work. Mother is mothering so right now. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. Whoa! So sure, go to Nevada. Ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. I don't you know what's so funny to me. I love to imagine, right? You just been in a fight with your mom, and you're like, <sighs> that's what I imagine. She just like whacks out a pen. Wow, mom is such a bitch. <laughs> so a good. End. Writing a it's note. Not a dead just end. in the car. You just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. We're gonna walk I into the woods? Are you joking? The, uh, help, by the way. 
Look. Yeah. I know you're upset. It doesn't get slightly. It's like when we you're in the car it. after you've had an argument with someone and you just look out the window. If you're not driving the car. You just look out the window like you're in a sad movie. Just like. And you hope that they ask you what's wrong and you've met nothing. As, oh, man. Having an argument in the car, the worst place to have an argument. Because you literally cannot go anywhere. Anyway. Let's just get in, <laughs> see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before I change my mind. The biggest power as Agreed. well. Yeah. As we finally made it to the houseboat we saw in the picture, most likely owned by the mystery man, aka Pierre Lautrec. Whatever we find here better be worth it. I was in the backseat of a car with some friends who were, who were a couple and had a huge argument. We had a six hour journey ahead of us. Oh God. I was once on holiday with two of my friends and they had an argument. We were all sharing one like hostel room and they were having this big argument and we were just out and about. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I just had to like, kind of just vibe. I was like, okay. Um, hate to leave so soon, got some BS going on at work. Not BS. Enjoy the stream. Have a great evening, Ash and the Wars Clan. You too, Drew. Have a great time. I drive a little crazy and upset my partner, so he no longer asks me to drive us places. My boyfriend gets travel sick, so That's he often has to mail. drive us around. Think he's got mail? Hmm. Guess we'll never know. It's locked anyway. Let's commit fraud. Mail it's fraud, whatever it is. People's mail is illegal. Yeah, let's do it. And a mailbox labeled the Trek. Let's break in and commit a crime. Well, this place looks lovely. And not like it's about to fall down. Super safe to be here. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Just hit myself in the head with a... Oh, look. That's the houseboat. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. I went to the States with some pals for two other pals' wedding. We agreed that any time the two get married started... The two get married started arguing, we'd sing Come Sail Away as a group until they stopped. It's so funny that you had to have a plan for if somebody, are, like, if a couple was arguing. <laughs> it's very funny. My partner doesn't have a driver, so I'm the dedicated... Like, driver's lesson, I'm the dedicated We're driver. We're trespassing. Understandable. We need to go back home. But we... What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Mom, I'm gonna or go down who there. who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted, or... or but we're already here, and the trailer home- Mobile home. The mobile home- Wedding stress, that is true. Fine. I, I just think, if we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. Mm, come on, okay, Mum. Fine. Let me boring. Stay here, or write a note in my I'll journal about you. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I- you're right. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> we've done all of this. Mine so far taught me to together. drive, so not like I how I drive. That That's very funny. All right, we'll do it together. But I should go first. Okay, well, mum. I should go. No way. What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it heads or tails. Uh, heads. heads. I lost? Picks. In a manner of speaking. After you. All right. Careful. Not very climactic. Not quite as scary as I thought. Yeah, this thing is pretty sturdy. Especially for just sitting out here for a few decades. Let's I'll just fall through the, the same floor. for the rest of the boat. All right. Let's go in here first. Oh, <gasps> Pierre! Pierre! Pierre is here. Looks like we're on the right track. 
Remember, this is a shared facility for all residents. Please clean up thoroughly before retiring for the evening. That means you, Pierre. You scumbag. Dirty plate. Gross. An ore through the window. Just how our mama likes it. Another dirty plate. A knife. We should bring that with us in case a murderer is around. Look at all these knives. Asking for death. Yikes. Somebody has anger issues. Couldn't just set down the knife gently, could you? My mum has a habit of listening to the sat-nav say, go left. Ask me whether she should go left, then ask if I'm sure it's the right way. No, I'm not, mum, but Google seems pretty confident. That and my family trail try trait to mix up left and right all the time. Whenever I give my boyfriend directions, he calls me sat twat. And then uh, if, if I'm trying to give directions and he doesn't listen to me, it's my fault that we get lost. Apparently. Because I have a pretty good sense of direction. And he does not. Twat Mav is good, yeah, but no, he calls me Sat, sat Twat instead. Twat Mav is way better. I think I would actually be less offended if it was Twat Mav. Now you've all said that, I'm going to tell him how, how rubbish it is that he I calls like me Sat Twat. I what Pierre had going on here. No Pierre. <laughs> I kind of want to clean up the rest of these. Ugh, why? <laughs> well, they're all in the bucket except these two. They've been separated from their friends for so many years. Tess thinks just like now, me. They will be reunited at last. Tess and I, we are one person. Right, let's go in here first if we can. Oh gosh. I'm hitting myself with doors. It's locked. This must be where the money is. <sighs> I seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to... Can I just kick it in? I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <sighs> Ow. All right, pretty sturdy. Kick it. I'd kick it. Me, me personally, I'd kick it. A letter from Helen. I was surprised to receive a letter from you so soon. A houseboat, it's a romantic thought living right on the water. But don't you suppose it might be a bit small for us, for both of us and two children, including a teenager? Couldn't you have written to me before making this decision? We are still here waiting for the heat to die down. While I'm excited to start our new life afresh, I've begun to rack up worries. How will the children react with all that they've already been through? What do you suppose my parents will think and us just disappearing? My poor mother, she's already lost a son-in-law. When people come looking for us, are you sure there's no other way? Helen. Mom! A letter from Grandma. Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Oh, whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? No, Dad's One a scumbag. We really rich, and you could fix up the Andromeda and make every play there amazing. Tess. And we could keep Grandma's house and make it all perfect, like better than it's ever been. There's no way to that reality from here. Uh, Mom, don't be sad. A picture. Whoa! Look at Grandma! Mom, come look at Grandma! Wow. This is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. Why was she? She does say she said underwear. Like <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you're just imagining things? <laughs> Gram Gram was a smoke show. Oh, you mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. Cute. Put that back for later. Let's go, Gram Gram. The magazine for men, gentlemen. Is that our gram? Is that grandma?
Gentleman interviews. Hey, mom. Wow. Cool. Tess, don't touch that. Why not? It's a porn mag, Tess. I Tess. want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh. You don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. It's a porno I mean mag, before that. Tess. Like, never mind. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968. And patterned tights. But really, put that down. Tess, listen to your mother, please. And wash your hands. Listen to your mother and wash your hands. Some shoes. Okay. That's all in here. Okay, I'm a bit of a... I'm feeling a bit skew if. We're on a hill. A hey, captain's hat. We're really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? I, I, if I owned a houseboat, I'd have a captain's hat too. To be fair. Like, I absolutely would. Travel expenses. Postcards. Map. Lunch, steak, motel, beer, dinner, stamps, liquor. $39,952. Mum, where that money at? 40 grand. We've definitely found our man. Oh, it is this for men only, you're right. That's why mum was so upset about... $6 on a steak lunch. <sighs> about $7 touching it, because it's just for, just for boys. Did people just drink more back then? <sighs> yeah, I think so. But this is a lot, even for 1968. I haven't found our granddad yet. We're uh, we're searching his houseboat. Received from Mr. Pierre Lautrec three thousand dollars in exchange for a houseboat. Her whisper, Mum. Three thousand dollars for a houseboat? My friend Are bought a boat, so a I bought my sailor's hat. A, a natural thing you should do. A little. Only $3,000 for a boat you can live on? It's a house and a boat. <laughs> that's that's two whole things for just $3,000. Some people don't even have one. Thing. I don't even have it a boat. It does seem like he probably got a pretty good deal. Do you think the boat had something wrong with it? Maybe Pierre just drove a hard bargain. How about having a collection of different captain hats that actually being a captain of anything? Yeah, like a pilot's one and a captain of a boat. Cool. And really what other kind of captain? Uh, oh, a pirate captain. Uh, what other kind of captains are there that wear hats? An army captain, yeah. I always forget about the army. Cricket captain. Do they wear hats? Oh, they do wear hats. Oh, yeah, they wear those big sun hats and sun cream on their noses. Piss. I haven't found another key. Must have missed something. A way down. <gasps> a flare gun. Dodge this. I was literally about to go. <laughs> I was literally, as soon as she said it, was about to go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I might be a 15 year old girl from the 80s. Or 90s. When is this set? I can't remember. Oh my god, look, a kid's room. Oh, it's for four players. Sorry, Pierre. Tiddlywinks! Oh my god. Love. Love a tiddlywink. Please don't go on about the silly ideas in my head. My concerns are far from silly. This affects all of us. You say we'll have everything we could ever hope for, but I'm not the one who decided to run off the across the border and have silly little Helen pick up her entire life or her kid, children's lives. Oh, a drop of a hat to follow, no matter how much money was involved. I hope that things for the 
I hope for things that money can't buy. Treasured friendships I've held since I was a girl. My relationship with my parents and my siblings. Satisfying work where I get to help people. My children to grow up in their loving company of their grandparents and their friends. These are the things they asked me to give up. And for what? Isolation? An unfamiliar place? A leaky boat? Money to spend on what? What does it matter if everything else is lost? You tell him, Grandma. Yeah. Not one to mince words. Captain All America did have a cool helmet, that's true. Paid off, I guess. Kind of nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just... Oh, it's 2003. <laughs> Not the 80s the or the 90s. Nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. <gasps> Sacre bleu. <sighs> oh, no. It's already happening. Oh. Good one, Mum. Good one, Mamacita. A present. I want to open the present, but I'm not allowed. Bathroom, comb, shower. God, this houseboat is very house, isn't it? You wouldn't even know it was a boat. Oh, a kitchen. I don't see where the kitchen is. A bucket. Some spoons. <gasps> Robbers hit again important. Local and state police are looking for a group of thieves who made off with an undisclosed amount of cash taken from Climbing Clothiers in Burglary on Saturday night. According to state police, men broke into store around 1.20 a.m. They dismantled the store safe, taking the money bag before fleeing. There were no witnesses. We're encouraging local businesses to deposit all cash to their banks at the end of each business day. Until the burglars have been apprehended, it's too risky to leave any money in the store overnight. Michigan State Police have set up an anonymous tip line for any information on identities of the thieves. <gasps> the burglary ring! Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? <sighs> Maybe my mother... I thought this him. man robbed a For bank. What? To keep him abreast of current events? Or a clothes shop. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. That's and true. it wasn't robbery, it was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, oh. you take it when they're unaware. Is that true? I didn't know that. Think. You think? Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? Oh my You're god, guys. Lady robbers. Grandma's a bank like robber. Like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think? Grandma if you want that, it is a burglary. Oh. Are you seriously asking if I think my cool. mother was an accomplice in all this? Why not? She had two kids at home, and I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? Grandma! Sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. Robbed a bag. No, I mean, you know, maybe that's what she wanted me to think. I didn't know about Pierre, after all. Ow. Just kick the table. Right. A lunchbox. Bunch of spending Boy, money. Really burned through it. I can't imagine just spending forty thousand dollars on nothing. Well, some of it was on this boat. Oh yeah. no, Ed! Seems You've been like burgled. You really loved it. <laughs> no. Can you imagine Grandma living here? Can you imagine August? We are technically doing here? crimes. We've broken into Maybe like two she places would have been now. A famous painter, because she would have like had to paint a bunch of stuff to make it less ugly. For sure. <laughs> and you and Grandma would have had to fish every day. This is a very tempting scene you're painting. I'm imagining something like Little House on the Prairie, but on a boat. Little Houseboat on the River? Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> God forbid Graham Graham has a hobby. I know, gee whiz. What, because just because Grandma wanted to rob a few banks, she's a criminal. Gee whiz, she's just bored. Women can do anything that they want to be. They can do anything that they put their mind to. 
Even Rob Banks. Should that be on their to-do list? Well, this boat is lovely. I'd happily live on this boat. What does this say? French onion. No. French quart. God, this guy has a lot of booze. Wow. I drinks a lot. That is a lot to spend on whiskey. They ran off of my dogs? video games but left records and books then, worth I mean. much, much more. Whiskey well, those chumps. Bunch Plus, of gamers you got robbed by. This, place, this was probably a reoccurring order. Jeez, slow it down, Pierre. I don't think he was handling my mother's change of heart too well. With this amount of booze, Mom's a, Grandma's a heartbreaker. She was handling anything too well. Listen, let's just get back to it. It's cold in this busted old boat. Okay. Peggy, sugar rich. Aha! Aha! A key. More whiskey. A flashlight. Another beverage. <clears throat> Attention every, every time I go to speak and I'm like, about to say Easy something, she time. just says it. I was about to just pretend like I was yelling down a me megaphone. Stop stealing my thunder, Tess. I'm the streamer here. This is my stream, not yours. You biatch. Just kidding. I know it's your game. Right, let's go look in. Let's go commit mail fraud, everyone. That's what I'm doing. Did you guys see that tweet this week from an American that was like, um, actually, nice try, but only US the United States Postal Service can put things in your post box. Anyone else doing it, that's illegal. Which, by the way, absolutely crazy law to have. But um, then everyone was like, oh man, I wish the Royal Mail could deliver my parcel, but unfortunately, the, only the United States Postal Service are allowed to, to do that. Did I take that key? Was it... Yeah, well, apparently, oh, maybe it was the bedroom key. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I was like, where did the... the where was Nanny going to sleep? Another letter. I've received your latest letter. This is my final response. You say you did all this for me, but you didn't. Everything you've done, you did for yourself. You were the one who was unsatisfied with our home, our income, and always wanted more. You were the one who made the decision to get more money through reckless illegal means. You were the one who decided to run to Canada to save your own skin without even telling me until it was too late to do anything but follow along. I'm not following along anymore. Oh my God. Did dad not die? Did dad not die? Did dad run away to Canada and change his name? Anyway. You say these are your kids too. Of course they are, but they're my children as well. I'm here with them every day, comforting their grief, trying to console them over the loss of their father, trying my very hardest to keep up the ruse. I knew he wasn't dead, but I'm getting used to it, used to doing this on my own, used to speaking for myself, used to living a new life, and I'm regaining my footing. I'm starting to feel all right. You say you'll do whatever it takes to make me happy that you give everything I've always, want, I've always deserved to have. I don't know how else to tell you this, but I think you already have. All I want now is to be left alone, free to leave this new life by my own means. Do not contact me or the children again. This is over for all of us. I think we were happy once. I hope you find happiness again. Helen. Mom! <laughs> Come and read this. So I guess that's it. Grandma had enough time on her own. Without Grandpa, without Pierre, she realized she liked things better that way. Can you blame her? My mum, guess what? No, not at all. It was her chance to have her own independence. And who would want to give up their whole life, everything they know, just for some guy and some money? <sighs> People have done worse for media. less. How's it going? Yeah, but Grandma had a pretty good life, didn't she? Her advice column, her art, her kids, her house. Maybe she just needed a little time to herself to realize how good she had it. 
Is no one else figuring this out apart from me? You guys. Looks like a mailbox key. Grandma, oh, a grandpa didn't die. Out, he moved to France. I, you I mean, be so <laughs> Canada. Sometimes. He moved to Canada, changed his name, and began drinking. Get it together. Right, come on. We've got to go and find out what's in the mailbox. What the hell was that? Some kind of bird. Yeah, one of them goddamn birds. Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? Opal, he is this. dead and gone. Let me open it. If this guy was your real father, you're his next of kin, so it's fine. Is that how that works? I don't know, probably. Makes sense to me. Well, I it's it's you just your points. regular dad. It's not Let's even a surprise dad. It's just regular dad. Sheriff's department. To whom it may concern, I now confess my culpability for a spate of burglaries which resulted in the theft of almost one half of a million dollars. I had worked as property inspector for Geen County for over 10 years. At a poker game in 1966, I was approached by a man interested in trading blueprints and my knowledge for cash. He and a few others targeted department stores and other businesses that carried large amounts of cash overnight. This relationship developed and I became more and more involved. I was given 10% of the proceeds from the robberies in exchange for information on how they could evade detection from the store security. Oh, I knew it was the dad. As time went on, the stores were close, they chose to hit became riskier and riskier. I had no way to back out of the arrangement as they had threatened not only my safety, but that of my family as well. Seeing no other option, I falsified my death certificate with papers. I left it from the county's office. I left my wife and daughter and crossed the border under, the assume, under an assumed name, giving them the instructions to follow me. They never did. And I wish that regret having asked them to. What little of my stolen profits remain, I have destroyed. My wife Helen knew nothing of my crimes and said it was too late. She only went along with the story of my death because she had no choice. She is innocent. My decision to involve myself in this series of crimes was mine alone. I ask only that you leave my wife and daughter alone. This is my confession. Leonard Lambros. Mama! We figured so it out. was my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. Falsifying death. Illegal. I can't believe it. Robbing banks. Well, it says Illegal. Right there, no, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Right, right. Uh, Lol. I... <sighs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or Grandma's boyfriend was been. Grandma's Not husband? Grandpa's secret identity. <sighs> so my father ha hadn't died. When we thought he'd had a heart attack, he was just here, on this dock. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. Oof. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Mom. For your whole life, you thought your dad had just died, and you had to live with that. That really sucks. I can't believe I, I can't believe he just abandoned us all this time. He was. This game is about here. bad dads. He bad came dads. With his family, his children, for an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time, and my mother living a lie for the rest of her life. I can't. I can't even imagine. That's true. Bad dads and them die. Only the good dads die. I just wish die. I could have talked to her about it. So true. While she was alive, I just. I wish she could have trusted you. Yeah. If we could have just 
She didn't have to carry all this Mom, alone. Mom, are you seeing the parallels? I can't believe she would do that to us. Are you seeing the parallels, Mama? Don't lie to me. Why Trust did she me. say anything? Even when we were all grown up. Maybe... Maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. I don't think I would have been able to keep a secret. I'm not very good at keeping secrets. So, that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? <sighs> I have an itchy eyeball. I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. Slay. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No. I think no. we found enough. Yeah. Screw that man. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. Ugh. Mom's going through well, it. Maybe not yet. But your dad. <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked Dad out. <sighs> Mommy, he's telling lies again. I mean... Well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess, listen, I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Okay. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tess, thanks for doing this, for coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me to find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately, but, but I am so lucky to have such an incredible yeah kind yeah oh, mom <laughs> beautiful yeah hard working that's me hard working stop stop you make me cry <laughs> just such an amazing <laughs> for another dog. car argument a car argument I love you, mom. nightmare i love you too honey ah uh... Mom and daughter are best friends. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. So you asked about what happened with me and Dad. Yeah, what's the goss, uh -huh. Mama? Well, your dad, you know, was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems. Our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing, and then he decided that he was going to be a professional poker player. Interesting. Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. That's insane. That's insane. Didn't anybody tell him the house always wins? Oh, I did. But this isn't playing poker against the house. It's against other players. There is no house. Believe me, I heard all his justifications. There were plenty. And even though he's been gone for a couple years, he's never told me why he's really out there. Why wouldn't he tell me? Maybe deep down, he's not so proud of it. Maybe he just didn't want to tell me till after he'd hit it big? That's so he's not right gonna hit it really big. So he really started getting sick and we moved in to take care of her to go off and follow his dream? He must really like poker. He likes it. But I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for so he left for nevada he wanted to stay married said we could make it work but by that time it was already over 
Yeah, exactly. I realized that this this was a pattern. You got you got to be selfish end. sometimes, Mamacita. Do you blame me for ending it? No. No, I get it. You needed his support, and he just ran away. Got kind of sometimes your think of yourself. Yeah, kind of. That sucks, Mom. But I do miss him. I'm sorry for buying the tickets. Oh. I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought, I don't know, that Dad, like, explained everything to me in a way that made sense and that he was living some great life out there. No, you... You shouldn't apologize. We're healing, everyone. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... I guess I was embarrassed. That I would have married such a ding-dong. Professional gambler. Oh. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. Ding dong is so funny. I guess funny. you can't keep running away from your problems. Your father's forever. a ding dong. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. Just still go see your dad. I think you should go. Yeah. To Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. He is a ding dong, you guys have and a good that's okay. You should spend some time. Sometimes with him. people are ding dongs. I think it'd be good for both of you. Are you sure, Mom? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh God, no. And Miss August mac and cheese? Fat chance. I love mac and cheese. I'm proud of you, Mom. <laughs> for what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick ass. You're kick ass. How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? Or run their own business, run a community theater? That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, I mean, that means a lot. Guys, we're bonding. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. I wouldn't well, I've seen begin to do. know how to design a and website. You do a great job. Oh, I feel like it would look like ass. I'm serious. When I saw but your I think I stuff, think it was I mean, funny. <laughs> I don't always know what I'm looking at, but I know it looks good. I always like want to do my I'll <laughs> do this, but then I just I find something that's <laughs> funny and then it end up just making it just look like funny rather than like and my mom. making it look professional. But maybe it skipped over my hand. <laughs> oh, come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford <laughs> like grandma and me. It's silly, but, but it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Like doing Kurt, let's go seeing like Kurt. Seeing I'm not gonna Kurt. talk to my mom about yeah, doing exactly. someone amongst many other things but yeah it's hard to let go to no it would be funny it's a valid start to a creative decision my it's my kind of girl. main start to a creative Mama. decision you were so cute back then even cuter than now stop and you had the biggest head everyone said it everyone said that's the baby with the biggest head <laughs> bowling ball head the bowling ball baby <laughs> yep and it was all your dad Oh, a side, baby with a big head. Perfect, tiny little heads, like golf balls. Mm-hmm. A bowling so, ball out of your nun. <laughs> what do you think about the whole August thing? Moving in with her? Yeah. I guess it's a big decision <laughs> moving to Chicago. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's putting it mildly. I'm sorry. Would you I'm sorry about what I just it? said. I'm sorry about what I just said. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry about what that. About the Andromeda and Francine, it means starting over, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Am I? But it could uh, be nice to get a fresh start. I don't know. Maybe not. We've been through a lot of big changes this year. <laughs> You've been through so it's many. It's funny, big what's changes. it? <laughs> but I mean, we're making it work. And whatever we decide, we can make it well, work. Well, boy, Lona, they said that she had a bowling ball head. And I said, ugh, can you imagine? Bowling ball out of your nun. <laughs> I'm 
confident. I don't think I've ever used the word yeah. nun to describe Me a too. vagina before. We should and and I don't about know this. why. Oh, Today hey, was August, the first time what? I decided. Our dad <laughs> really is our dad. <laughs> you can sleep easy. We're not French Canadian after all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad. I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too. Mom and daughter are best friends. We did it! That was a lovely game. We won. We won a relationship with our mother. Lovely. Now, I think we might play some Botany Manor. I might have to go go piss girl first. Um, let me just go back to here while I close the game and open Next the other game. Um. Yeah, I thought, well, I think we're going to play some Botany Manor now because I've been looking at this game, I've been eyeing it up and everyone's been saying it's lovely, so I want to play it. I just sort this stream stuff out. <laughs> already on it, Mr. Black. Honest, already on it. Um, but I'm going to go for a quick piss break. I've got to go piss girl and then I'll be right back. Probably also going to have to fix the, it's going to come on this screen and I need it to be on this screen, but that's a, that's a job for in a minute. All right. Uno momento. Be right back in all that. Oh, flip. Stuck on stuff. Okay. It's because I, I chugged that tea down and now I need it. themselves being good and doing nothing untoward. <laughs> I didn't notice the gameplay. A water sound. That's very funny. Oh, it is! <laughs> That's good stuff. Nice. Love that. Why is the frame rate massive? That's absolutely... I mean, not frame rate. Okay. Is it really loud as well? Hold on. I'm going to... Bear with. Everybody bear with. Um, just change this over to... Botany Manor. 
It is very loud. Yeah, I figured it. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Is that better? It's still really loud, huh? Just turn this down a smidgy. Oh, 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 why is this bigger now? What did I do while I was mid piss to make everything skew in? Okay. Why is this so loud? It's literally turned like all the way down. It's not making any difference. It's literally like it's it's turned so far down on everything. And yet, it is still so loud. What is the reason? Oh my god, it's a bug. Gross. Right, is that better? It's just like really loud bird noise now. Okay, anyway. Let's flip and get on with it, shall we? No more faffing about. Lady Arabella, we are so happy so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you have a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated, though I can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today, Bennett. Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Somerset. Mr. Reset. Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Dear Arabella Green, thank you for, Arabella is a lovely name, thank you for once again submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you have completed your research. Yeah. Happy 420 BBB blazed my dudes lord and 16 dab. Our oh man, grandma is off to Canada. Well maybe some grandma jokes can keep her here. How do you weigh your mum's mum? In grammars. Ha ha ha. How tall is the world's smallest grandmother? One nanometer. Hi E. Why did Molly knit her grandson three socks? She heard he'd grown a foot. Ho ho ho. What do you call a relative who loves spelling and punctuation grammatically correct? Ha ooh ooh. Why is grand so good at kung fu? She's a grand martial artist. Hi hoo. A grand martial artist. Well, wow, thank you for the four... 20 blips, Lord Brotovich. B B B B B B Grandma B B B B B B B B Burglar B B B B B B Robbery B B B B B B B B Canada B B B B B B B Armed Robbery Grandma Blaze It. Thank you for the blips, Stephen. Right. A pot. Empty pot. Let me just put the pot here for a second. First things first, place pot on saucer, add soil to pot, plant a seed, water the seed. Okay, so then we add soil to that. Okay, a windmill wart. I want to grow the windmill warts to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory, but I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. Okay. some water to it right All right, let's leave it on here so it's at 20 degrees how do I know if it's gonna grow oh Somerset falls victim to industrial smog I can barely see horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions I can barely see no, this one. Postcard from Marianne. Dearest Arabella, on my hike I came across some windmill wort, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals tell me the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help you with your smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. 
Well, it looks lovely there. Hotter than it is now. Important clues get added to your herbarium where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help organise and validate your research. They only grow in Sicily. What's that button do? Heat vent. Okay. How warm is it in Sicily? Oh, oh. In Sicily? It's 30 degrees. Oh, what kind of flower is the... What am I... A windmill wart. A volcanic flower. Okay, so it needs... 60 degrees Celsius? Blimey! That's flipping wham! Right. The temperature chart. So it needs 60 degrees. How do I... Maybe I'll press this button now. Are you growing? I don't know if I've done it right. Flippin' heck! It's so smoggy! How can I even breathe? It's a volcanic... That's what we're doing, right? Volcanic flower, a windmill wart. And in Sicily, it's 60 degrees. Maybe I need to water it again. I've already watered it. Maybe another one. I'll just put this one here. Another one. This. A windmill wart seed. Water it. Alright. 60 degrees Celsius. Oh. I need to put it on here, maybe. It's going! We did it! Yeah, I don't know if we should be in a room that's 60 degrees, to be fair. That seems a bit hot. This flower flipping spins! We did it! We grew our first flower! The normal water actually grows volcanic soil, which is required at soil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The blood contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. Nice! Can I pick this up and grow another one? Put that there. Just because I want to. I want to grow a second flower. A second one of the same kind, so they can be friends. Grow! Every other plant will burn to a crisp, you're right, but maybe it just pumps out in just this one location. Oh, lovely. Buddies. Alright. Moving on to the next location of flower growing. Oh, lovely conservatory. Music is so loud, despite me having turned it down so much. The music is so low down as well, like, the, the volume is like not, literally not doing a single thing. It's like, sorry, did you want me to turn it down? I, I simply won't. It's not so bad, it was very loud when you began. Okay, well I'm glad it's not so bad anymore. Oh, there is, there is a hurried walk. Home of the Green family. I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Arabella. We've got a key for the entrance garden. And a post box, but only USPS can post stuff in there, so... I'm very loud, it's just pretty loud. It's very... I don't know why it's so loud. It's so weird. I don't want to turn the music off because I feel like it's part of it. Why am I yelling? I'm having to yell. I'm going to have to turn it down. Hold on. We're going to... I'll just turn it all the way down on here. It might be too quiet now, but... Turn it down on everywhere else. Look how loud it still is. Absolutely crazy. 
I was just thinking it looks like the witness. But this one's about plants. A walking stick. God damn. It's so loud. Absolutely mental. Oh. I accidentally pressed quit. My apologies. Okay, we're back in. My dear friend, good luck on your trip. I would have loved to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice until we next meet. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others, whereas in botany... As in other things, we can make little progress if we do not see for ourselves. Well, now you must trust. You must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. Oh, look, a, a lovely hat. A lovely bench. Lovely. A cuckoo bird somewhere around there. I'll kill it. Where are you? I want to climb and stand on top of the wall because I think it would be fun. Ah, oh, that's nice. Maybe we need to go in the house. Just getting distracted. It's just such a lovely garden. <gasps> My gosh. What new seeds can we get? Real duck? Fake duck. Boo! Wish it was a real duck. Oh, my dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavours. I look forward to hearing about your progress and of course let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Cute. Thanks, Lizzie. Right, well, there's some stuff here to, you know. Ursula Pengilly. Absolutely fantastic name. Oh, we are the unmarried sister. That's okay. Florence May Hopgood. Sorry, Florence Mary Hopgood. She may hop good too, but I don't know. Lady Arabella Green, I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete, carefully tra tracing your history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain in your service. Yours, Robert Hinchley, genealogist. Thank you, Robert. Lots of chairs to take up. Well, this tree is horrible. Who put that there? Taunton to Paddington. First class. Not found any other seeds yet. Oh. A new seed! The Fulguria. I came across the Fulguria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn how more about its growth requirements. Camera experiment one. I purchased a new camera and a flash lamp to document the flowers. The picture looks a little bit blurry though. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. The picture is so dark, impossible to see the flower. I can't believe how quickly I have to run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. I'm very pleased with the picture. Looks like I'm getting the hang of this camera. Okay. Some pictures. So you can only grow in the dark. Is that what we're learning? It has to... It has to be really dark. Probably not in here, right? I only like skipped a bunch in chapter one. Maybe I did. Oh look, lovely. Where am I now? I'm in the porch. 
So where's that? One. The vestibule. Stunning name. My house doesn't have a vestibule. It just has a front door. Dartmoor. Okay. Oh, a book. Pyrophiles. Fire has the potential to be among the most devastating forces of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where the forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life system. Their seeds typically possess tough shells. Some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. Okay. The painting room is locked. The back terrace is locked. Why are there so many locked doors in my own home? I live here. Give me the key and let me in. Okay, we can go in this room. A flask. It's time for science. Yes. It's botany time. The art of painting. Okay. We don't get... Why does my... Sometimes my controller just spins me around. And I don't know why. It's very... Oh my gosh, look at this. Table set for... One, two, three, ten people. I don't even have ten friends. That's not true. I do actually have quite a lot of friends. People talk about me on podcasts. Don't you know? They talk about me on podcasts because they are my friends. He studies genies. Oh, yeah, that guy was a genealogist. Some ancient Celtic tribes practice a coming-of-age ritual. This means that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involves picking a flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course. Yeah. The gatherer... Botany powers, mansion with inexplicable locked doors. Clearly, this is the origin story of the founders of the Umbrella Corporation. Ah, oh, that's true. The Umbrella Corporation. Uh, thank you for the blips. Odie loves this. And you might be right. Uh, they had to gather a fulgaria, for the flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right in front of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Okay, so it only grows in thunderstorms. How does one simulate a thunderstorm? Oh, this is lovely. Arabella and Elizabeth. That is my sister. I thought that was a gold bar. I was like, Jesus. We're rich, rich. Lovely. A key to the back terrace. Nice. Lady Arabella. Oh, it's a farmer. These past weeks I've been seeing a lot of bright flashes come from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this. And if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Farmer Charles. What's this then? Oh, flash powder. Okay. 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 Okay, let's go uh, to the back terrace. See what's going on around there. A flash lamp. Fill the container with flash powder. Close the container. Press the button to collect connect to the camera and the lumen flash cam. Witness a bright flash. A spectacles. Lovely. Right, so we get that flower and bring it to the back passage. I mean, terrace. Back terrace. Girls can be farmers too. That's true. I know that meant that girls can be farmers too, but I think that one's a boy. Okay, it doesn't like the sunshine. Oh, a sandwich. Who left the sandwich here? We'll get, we'll get bugs. There'll be flies. Let me just put that there. Until I figure out where I have to go. Where was the flashing? Was it the the picture? 
Flowering plants of Great Britain. Do you want ants? Because that is how you get ants. Exactly leaving a flipping sandwich about. An ash plume. This might be a tough nut to crack. Okay. Seed log. A summary of the seeds I've gathered this year and of locations I have found them. Cow parsley. Black down hills. Poppy. Cheddar gorge. Buttercups. Stuart marshes. Ash plume. Wistman's wood. Wood anemone. Holford comb. Wild thyme. Colburn wood. Foxglove, Ford Abbey. Okay. I'm sure that's something I have to think about later, but not right now. My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine visits the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous grey squirrels. They are the latest trend garden decoration. All of my neighbours have sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full of darling little critters one thing i know is that i haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now how odd you must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself because white squirrels are so much cuter than gray squirrels and it makes me ever so sad that the gray squirrels have eaten all the red ones which is what i assume happened is that the gray ones ate the red ones What else could have possibly happened? Thursday. Hazel Patterson kitchen notes. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Lady Arabella may not be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. She's so scatterbrained. Anyway, I'm always off on her fancy research trips. Do 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 do. Boo, grey squirrels. Indeed. They ate all the red ones. That's definitely what happened. They ate them. Ate them all. Right. Let me do this. Get this bad boy. Water it. And then let's go and take some pictures of it. Gosh, I wish there was a door in here. Okay, right. So we need to open this. We need to get some flash powder. Oh, this one's empty. Damn it. There's some more. Damn it, we need some more flash powder. Where does one get flash powder from? I need the, some flash powder. I don't know where, but let's go to the kitchen and see if there's any flash powder in the kitchen. I don't know why there would be. How do you make flash powder? Can I make... Jesus, my controller's bugging out. How doth one make flash powder? What is the recipe? Well, there's some upstairs. Not been upstairs yet. Who's padlocked the library? That's very rude of them to do so. Oh, gosh, the door's blocked by a tree. Nightmare. We'll have to chop the tree down. Somebody's trying to make me puzzle my way through my own home. Absolutely preposterous. Right. Let's bust our way into the kitchen. Oh, this is lovely. Any flesh powder around? Oh. Weights. And a sheep. Holding it across. Lady Green, we've received your letter applying to such... We've received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences along with your enclosed drawings. 
We do not at present and have never admitted women to study at college. Botany is a serious subject. Science conducted by laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, can you pursue a hobby tending to your garden and domestic spaces where it may be appreciated. Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilised in a career in botanical experimentation. Therefore, with all politeness, we do not offer you valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken by genuine academics. Signed, pfft, <laughs> John Altrincham. Well, what a bitch John Altrincham is. Something about Dartmoor, how the more was once covered in majestic forests and woods. Um. Cleared most of the trees of pastures using fires as a method of choice. It promised to be a more fascinating story of how the moorlands we know and love today came into existence. Oh no. It's broken. To a special someone. Did I use that accent during my play? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I just used my accent but poshed it up a little bit. Spoke a bit better bit better. <laughs> Dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. One regards, Mr. Bennett. Oh my god! Uh, servants in love. <laughs> the ancient oaks stand tall in Wils Wisterman's wood. Covered in moss, they would stand the test of time. Though no none could can tell. I literally can't read. Um, the sorrows which did befell. Those trees in Wistman's wood. Another duck. A porcelain duck. Still looking... Oh my gosh. Wood. I don't even begin to know what puzzle that's for yet. Home smoking and curing type of wood to use in your smokery oh we need to set something on fire don't we we set that other that tree on fire is of great importance though which one to pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences burning wood from different types of tree produces different smoke aromas this is due to difficult chemical combination oh my get your words out compositions in each type of smoke and has a great impact on the flavor of your smoked food choose your logs with care okay so we do need to trick a uh, plant into thinking it's on, it's being attacked by fire. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we need to solve that one first. This one. I think this one... Oh wait, where was it from? Can I read it? Oh, hold on, I'm going to have to go back and read that thing about where we got the... Uh, what am I trying to grow? That I can't remember what it's called, but I know roughly what I'm trying to say. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Wisman wood. That's definitely what we're trying to grow. In terms of we're trying to grow this this seed. Where was that book? Oh, it was down here. So we got the ash plume from Wistman's wood. I was right. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Survivors of adversity. Right. And then the Dartmoor poster. And then pyrophiles. And then Dartmoor lecture. And then the smoking book. Poem. Oh, the Wistman... Right, so we only need one more clue. We need one more clue. We really need to figure out what kind of wood is a is the Wistman's wood. What kind of wood is a Wistman's wood if a Wistman could wood wood wood? If a Wistman could man wood. What is wrong with me today? I think I'm I might be having a meltdown. Just a cheeky one though. Just a little oh. Hazel's priceless recipes from the home, farm, workshop and every department of human endeavour. Roasted chestnuts. Simple recipe, perfect for warm 
to warm those cold when has anyone ever had roast chestnuts i've never had them um the main difficult chestnuts are they have a tough shell but luckily they're easy to crack open with the help of a fire so you place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait till you hear a pop this means your chestnuts are roasted and ready to eat okay i'm gonna go get a pot i feel like we can figure this out ash plume water it Okay, maybe we can't water it until we've set it alight. Oh, that was just some guy telling us he doesn't want us to be... Come on. Yes! Right. We've birthed it. Now we have to put it in here. Figure out what kind of wood. Right. I need to figure out what kind of wood we need to use. How do we know what kind of wood's in Dart Dartford? Dart Oaks! Oaks! I'm doing puzzles! Guys, I'm, I'm doing puzzles. No, we haven't seen any cats there. I think they're in sat downstairs with my boyfriend. He's here today, he's finishing Final Fantasy at the moment, and I think they're down there with him. But they've not they've not come up to say hello. Sparky was here just before the stream. She was uh, sat on my lap, being a right little nuisance. But no no cats today, I'm afraid. Yay! I missed it. I was <laughs> I was distracted. Woo! Sea cracks open with extreme heat and after the oak smoke from its habitat, Wistman's wood indicates a safe bloom. We did it! Good for us. Well done, everyone. Southern puzzles like it's no one's business. We're the goddamn smartest people around. It's us. What do say about us lot? I say you lot, and I'm including you all in this. Smartest people around. And we're like, yeah, damn straight we are. Right. I think we need to make more smoke powder, uh, flash powder, but I don't know how. It doesn't say. I think we have... Oh, I think we have all the... Yeah, we have all the clues for it. So I must have... Oh, maybe it says on the bottle. Oh, potassium and magnesium. Two potassium to one magnesium. God, I'm so flipping good at puzzles. Right, potassium. Two of them. One magnesium. And I guess I just like shake it around a bit. Right, right, okay. Okay. Right. Oh! Get in! <laughs> Unreasonably excited about growing plants. <laughs> wow, what a cool looking plant. Wow, fun. Okay. <gasps> a parcel's been delivered! A parcel for us. A gift. Heck yeah, plants. Not in the mailbox, I hope. No, I hope so too. <gasps> a new... Somebody's delivered a key to my house. Well, that's strange of them. This is my house. Why do I not have the key? Oops. Right, we're going to the orchard, which is number five. So out here and to the left. Okay. 
It's a bit suspicious, isn't it? Somebody just dropped a key off from my house through the gate. It's like a threat. They're like, I have keys to your house. Don't ever forget it. Peculiar petals. Two new plants added. Fun. Okay. Dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books among their beloved. Among them, my beloved Piggy. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They are as charming as they are well educational. Uh, though I'll take no offence if they put your little, little one straight to sleep with my affections, Auntie Arabella. The wolf glove. High on the mountain tops. So steep grows a flower that's hard to keep. The petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try to find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit's cheeks aglow. With every step they hear it loud, the wolf gloves howl clear and proud, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. A poem! A poem! <laughs> Sorry. Imagine if someone sent you a key that just sent you just the key and I'd be a bit crazy. Like, what's it for? Why'd they send this? Why is there no note? Who is it from? Like, actual panic. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. Right. A few people have, have keys to my flat. It helps me get back in when I do stupid, as I've done several times. Yeah, now my boyfriend's here, I feel much safer that, like, I have a tendency to um, forget my key or lose it. So now, now he's here, I at least know that someone is going to have a key to my house that's not too far away, unlike when he used to live very far away. And if I was locked out, I was stuck outside forever. Ooh, cider apples. Nobby Russet. Cool. We didn't do any weighing. Maybe we have to do weighing soon. Oh, weighing! This is how you make cider, right. right. I don't know what we need to make cider for yet, but we'll come back. Let's let flipping scones out. Guys, we're going to get ants. Well, then I'm not giggling at Nobby Russet. I did giggle, but I giggled on the inside. A red campion. A foxglove. Primrose. Tincture of iodine. Perfect for preparing microscope slides. The world of plants. Chloroplasts, small organelles inside the cells of a plant, are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. However, not all plants have chloroplasts. Some plants rely on organic matter for their energy and do not photosynthesize. They have lost their chloroplasts over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through their roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating those particular plants. Okay, remember that. Lovely. Lady Arabella, thank you for inviting me to Botany Manor last Monday. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see authentic medieval manor, especially one as beautiful as yours. I apologize again for not being able to locate the priest hole in your house. There's a priest hidden in a hole in my house? Although I am convinced it exists, we will find it one day. It won't be easy, they tend to be hidden well and sometimes require elaborate mechanisms to be open. Kind regards, Professor Pennyworth. Priest holes. Back in the Middle Ages, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were persecuted by law. Therefore, some households built secret rooms in which, in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting their family home. Many of those so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location. Because of this, it's all as many undiscovered priest holes throughout England to this day. Priest holes is an absolutely terrible name for it. I know it's what it is. It's a hole for a priest to hide in. It's just silly. Dearest Arabella, how are you getting on in the garden? I hope it's going to be too. I hope it's not going to be too much for you to get on your own these days. Jesus, our mutual friend mentioned you have been struggling to germinate the ash plume. Have you tried making sure it's fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need that to grow. I'll visit you sometime 
and perhaps I'll find a way to crack that seed for you. I can show you a book I've been working on at the same time. Yours sincerely, Charles Trump. I already flipping did that, I think. Did I grow the ash bloom? Yeah, I already grew the ash bloom. I don't need that man to come and help me. I'm flipping sick of puzzles. Pixie tears and a wolf glob. glove. Glove. Wolf glob. Okay. A pixie tear. So we have to make cider to grow that one, I think. Notes on soil additives. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I found the following amounts to work best in my different pots. Okay. I wish I could collect my clues to take with me. Because I have um, the memory of a goldfish. <sighs> Priest holes. Hello. Um, Lady Arabella, I have received a request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower. Alas, I must confess that I am not the man to undertake this task. It may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchard is known to have locals as the Turbulence Tower. It is believed that a poltergeist dwells within its walls, a priest hole. Legend says the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds upon those who dare enter the tower. I don't want to provoke the wrath of this ghost, and I advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower. Willie the Builder. Willie the Builder what? Okay, hold on. So, this one is definitely the one that does the wind. So we'll put those in there for now. All right, that's an anemonometer. Oh my god! I didn't know it was a lift! Right, so we need wind, windy windies, windy windersen. Okay, this one is wind, but we've only got two clues. I think we need more. We also haven't even found the seed yet, so we need to do that as well. Oh! Wind speed of 35 fuss on the third floor. Wind speed of 50 fuss on the second floor. Wind speed all of the windows. Oh, okay. Somehow my anemonometer broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. Alpine exploration. Oh, we're discovering so much. What mountain was that? Was it on? I wish I could see the clues. This is my only issue with it, right? Is that I can't... Oh, can I see it here? Or maybe I can't. No, I don't think I can. God damn. Okay. Okay. Oh no, it's broken. The painting room key. Meddle with the tower, I shouldn't meddle with it, I will. Lady Arabella, as you can see, the staircase, the orangery collapsed in your absence. No, I've already written to the building in the hopes he wants to sort it out. Though, as you know, it can be difficult to pin down. I do apologize for this getting in the way of your research. I don't suppose you could find another way into the bottom level. I'm going to abseil down. From Natty Golding. Dearest Arabella, we made it to the Alps. We are so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand you are busy creating your herbarium. Yesterday we were lost in the hills and suddenly we heard a strange whistling tune. We followed the sound and soon enough we discovered it. It was coming for a tiny flower. If only you had been there to tell us what kind of flower it was. Your loving friend, Natty. Okay, so it's from the Alps. So the Alps is where we have to get the wind speed for, but I haven't even found the seed yet. Well... Let's leave it there for today and do some more of this next week because I am going to get too into it and then I'm not going to have my tea. And that's not good because I will be hungry and mardy and nobody wants that, do they? Um, we'll play some more of this next week. We will come back to it. Um, 
in the meantime i'll be back next wednesday back to our regular scheduled programming next week um in the meantime there is a list that went out tonight it was, it was ben's i don't know what it is so please don't ask me oh 10 modern games that were made for retro platforms there we are thank you and uh james should be streaming tomorrow i believe he's playing cyberpunk but he might be playing something else depending on if we've got a code for it or not i'm not sure yet um don't forget 20th of april two weeks from now we're doing our DD stream so come check that out it'll be on youtube um and it will be a lovely happy fun amazing time all of the above um i'm gonna send you over to to see sam he's trucking away um have a wonderful weekend everyone there's a podcast this week and it's the worst game of ever week so check that out and i hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day or your evening your afternoon sleep whatever you're gonna be doing with the rest of your day and i will see you very very soon all right love ya uh, bye bye now <laughs>